The second part of the assignment is to put a, a sound or some music in the background just so that I know that uh, you were able to access multiple layers during the assignment because for me really using multiple tracks is the key to uh, audio editing. It enables you to make it um, a little more complex, you have a little more control. So built into the audio editor is this library of sounds that I spoke about before. Um, these are royalty free and made available to users of the Mina audio editor. Um, right now Quantum Tracks is up. Uh, before you use these you might be queued to you know click a I accept terms of service link. Um, it's I, I have found that it's different on every browser and uh, usually you might have to click it the first time you use it. So there's a number of um, categories. Maybe I'll click styles. Um, maybe I'll click on jazz. And there's all sorts of, you know, you can move through all of the different choices. But the bottom line is, is over here, you get some tracks that have a little play button. You can try these out and see what the track is. So um, each of these is a different a different track. Um, you can grab a hold of a track by clicking on it and pulling it onto one of the tracks in your project. So I'll pull it on track three. And I'm going to close my library. Now notice that in my imported files, this is the track that I just pulled in. It was Get With It Intro 1A. So now I have uh, a third track with some music. But note that the, um, the volume of the audio track, or of the music track that I just pulled in, is much louder than my voice track. So what I'm going to do, there's a little volume control down here. This is track three. This means I'm changing the volume of... Uh, this third track that has the music. So I'm going to bump that down to maybe 20 or 30 percent. And let's give that a listen. Welcome to OLED 483. Now, um, to get a fade effect, because I would like to fade the music in a little bit, I'm going to click on this button in the track, um, Auto. And it pulls down. Um, this feature, Gain, is selected. And I like gain because basically what that is is it enables me to control the volume of the track throughout. So when I click on this, uh, when I click on gain and I and I get this extra little volume control for the track, what I can do is click on a portion of the track. I'm gonna click it sort of right at the start of my message, and it makes a little dot. And I'm gonna start at the beginning, and I'll make a little dot here. And I'll pull this first one down, and you see it pulls it down. Now this yellow line is sort of a visualization of what the volume is going to do. So when I pull my playhead back to the beginning of the track, um, what's going to happen is, is the volume will increase, and then my vocals will come in. Welcome to OLED 483. Now I can pull down and you can note that I'm actually changing the volume of the whole track. I could put a third little marker here and I could pull on that and that enables me to um, so now it'll slightly increase and then it'll increase a little faster. You can get all sorts of volume effects by playing um, you know with these volume lines. <clears throat> now I'm gonna click mute on this track and uh, that's the music track And I'm just back to um, uh, uh, just the tracks that are unmuted. Um, but I still have this on my timeline if I want to go back to it. Now's a good time to hit save. Now the libraries are uh, pretty cool. You know, there's lots of different sounds in there. Um, you can search around and uh, feel free to use any of the little loops of sound that you find there um, to fulfill the assignment. But you also might have a file on your computer, a music file, a song that you're interested in um, adding to the assignment. 
uh, to fulfill sort of the, the secondary sound, the way that you would bring that into your audio project is to go to File and Import Audio. You get a little um, audio wizard here. What you're going to do is, on your computer, browse for it. I have a few different um, MP3s of song sketches that I've made. Um, so I'm going to choose one and hit select. Then I'm going to click next. Uh, note that you have the different kind of file formats, but if it's MP3 or um, WMA, M4A, these are Apple and Windows files, you should be good. I'm going to click next. Now once again, um, Aviary is sort of a, a social sharing site, so you could share your projects and share your files. Um, I suggest at this point that you leave it only you, especially if this song is copyrighted material. Um, for you to use it for educational purposes in this project, that's okay, but you should not share a copyrighted file out with the community. Um, I'm going to leave these fields blank and I'm going to click Next. Once again, there's some more advanced info. This is more for, there's a, there's a lot of people out there creating content to, uh, to share. Um, it's, it's pretty interesting. I'll talk about that a little bit later. I'm going to click Upload. And it takes a little bit of time. Now, I, it's been hit or miss for me um, with Aviary and Mina uploading files. I found that the shorter the file is, the better chance it has of actually uploading. Um, a number of times I've had the editor um, freeze. So be sure to hit save before you try to upload a file. Um, and in this case, it looks like it actually went through. If you're having problems uploading an audio file, um, I'm going to say no thanks. My file's been uploaded. If you're having problems uploading an MP3 from your own computer, um, just use one of the sounds from the library uh, to fulfill the assignment. And uh, you know, keep an eye on Aviary. I think they're going to be improving their uh, products over time. And uh, right now, uh, they're doing pretty good for being a free service. So note, I have this uh, little track called Pond 3 that I, um, uh, that I just uploaded. So I'm going to click this auto button and that's going to shrink my file back down. This is grayed out because it's not, um, uh, not being used at the moment. And I'm going to pull this file out here. And let's give this a try. There we go. So I'm going to do the similar thing. I'm going to volume down. Um, maybe I'll pull this out a little bit, give the music a, a moment to fire up. And I'll click auto again. I'll put some fade ins in. And here we go. So that's, uh, that's basically what it takes to get a audio file from your computer into your project. I'm going to click Save. And there we go. Now note that uh, the file that I brought in, I'm going to zoom out so that I can see the full size here. Let's see. So the file that I brought in is much larger than the, um, than the timeline that I actually have. So I'm going to scroll down to the end, and I'm going to pull that out, trim it back. Um, and I'll leave a little space so that I can I'm going to make a few marks and make it fade out. And here's the effect. Welcome, OLIT 483. This is your audio editing tutorial. Okay, so now we have uh, two tracks 
of different audio recorded messages. We have a track of uh, music that we imported. We also have a track um, that we found here in the library of music we imported. We've changed the volume by clicking on auto and uh, using these in and out points to to pull the um, to pull the volume up and down. Uh, the one last thing that I want to share with you, I'm going to click save again, is throwing some kind of uh, you know, different filters and effects on a piece of audio. So let's go here. I'm going to click on the second audio uh, or the second vocal track, um, you know, in the timeline, and I'm going to double click on that, and that opens an effects menu. So I can hit play. This is your audio editing tutorial. And it gives your and it gives me the the straight track. Now we have three or four different layers here where we can add filters. So I click here and these are some filters that I add. Let's give reverb a try. Um, I can change these levels and that will you know change the effect itself but if i give it a listen let's hear this is your audio editing tutorial okay let's try a flanger this is your audio editing tutorial so you get the point there's uh, lots of different um, effects that you can add to it this is and we can add multiple effects on top of each other and once you're happy with the effect that you've chosen you can click apply and it throws the effect on there now let's listen to the let's hear what we get For all intents and purposes, let's say that this file um, now uh, fulfills the requirements of the technology assignment, being that we have a recorded message um, about the topic of the uh, final online lesson, and then some other track with some sound um, that you've worked with some volume. Um, you don't need to use uh, filters and effects, but feel free to be creative. Um, I would love to see what you can come up with. So you have your final file. Now how do you get it out of the Mina audio editor uh, onto your computer so that you can submit it for the assignment? Well, that's what the mix down feature is for. So we're going to click mix down and it is going to compress all of the tracks into one track um, and it's going to save the mix. Might take a few moments. Once you're finished with your mix down, you're given a number of options. You can listen to your recording. Um, what we're interested in, of course, is downloading. It also gives you a number of ways to share it to blogs and uh, you know other web 2.0. But what I'm interested in is you downloading the MP3 file to your computer. So I'm going to click on download the MP3. I'm going to say yes, please download this file. And I'm going to say where to download it to. And here I can change the name. I'm happy with this. And I'm going to click Save. It'll probably take a few minutes to save the MP3. And there it is. It's on my desktop. That's the final step. You can take that MP3 file. And then, as we discussed in class, you can go to the shared folder, the shared Dropbox folder for the class and put your audio file there. Again, please be sure that your audio file has your name on it so that I know um, whose submission it is. Then I would also like you to go to the assignments link in uh, module 3 and go to that assignment, type me a quick message in the submission box saying that you've added your uh, file to our class Dropbox and click submit. That's the end of the second part of the audio editing tutorial. Um, in the third part, uh, real quickly, we'll see how to access your files that you've created um, in the past and also look at some of the, um, the social media aspects of Aviary.